What's the matter? Cat got your tongues? Well now, being as you are here, I suppose I should introduce myself. Or maybe I should just ask you who you think I am. Am I a rodent? Am I a hippopotamus? <laughs> or am I, wait for it, a motorbike? <laughs> well, what am I? Come on, I haven't got all day. That's right. I'm a rodent. A bit like a mouse, but much, much bigger. bigger. We're very good at multiplying. That's why there's lots of us. And this is where I live. Cozy, eh? I've got everything I need down here. Lots of nice rubbish to gnaw on. I'm so glad you all dropped by. I do so like talking about myself. Now, where was I? Ah, oh, yes. What an absolutely marvellous rat I am. Uh, by the way, you can call me McCoy. Yep, that's me, the real McCoy. <laughs> Bet you don't know I'm a mammal just like you. <laughs> a bit more handsome, though. As you can see from my beautiful fur, my long, long tail, my pointed ears and my big, big teeth. Oh, impressive, eh? You know, we rats also have the most amazing senses of smell. That's how I knew you were here. As well as hearing. And sight. After all, when did you last see a rat wearing glasses, eh? But that's not all. I'm extremely clever. Far, far cleverer than a mouse or even a motorbike, come to think. Let me demonstrate. See, I can swim. Not only that, but I can climb. I can jump. But I bet you didn't know this. I'm responsible for lots of really nasty diseases. <laughs> In fact, many years ago, my ancestors were blamed for a terrible plague that spread throughout Europe. In actual fact, it wasn't really rats that caused it, but the fleas that live with us. Credit where credit's due. So, you better watch out, because sometimes we invade people's houses. Come on, I'll show you, and perhaps I can introduce you to some of my friends along the way. What kept you? Aha, there's my old friend Hal. I say old because he's a cockroach, and cockroaches have been around for, oh, let me tell you, about 300 million years. <laughs> Even though he's called an American cockroach, he's quite a common sight here in Singapore. Careful, Hal. You know what happens when you do that. You can't get up again. <laughs> now, what else can I show you? Ah, yes. My old friend, Al. Otherwise known as Algy. Maybe you've seen him before in your own bathroom. Looks like dirt. But if you take a real close look, it's made up of lots of different living things. Al's a bit boring, though. Doesn't do much, do you, Al? Ah, now here's someone you've just got to meet. My friend Mo. He's what they call an 80s mosquito. He too has a nasty habit of spreading disease, especially dengue fever. fever. Which is very, very dangerous. Let me demonstrate how. Here, Mo. You see, when Mo bites, he sucks your blood. So, if he bites a person infected with dengue fever, then bites a healthy person, he passes the disease on. Nasty, eh? Hey, Mo! Stop! Pull out! Phew! That was close. Time to get out of here. Now, how could I have forgotten about my good pal, Barry? He's what they call a bed bug. Now, Barry might look a bit dopey, but he's really quite naughty when he wants to be. He hides in all sorts of places. Humans have had problems with Barry being in their beds for hundreds of years. If he bites you when you're asleep, you'll end up all itchy. Ugh. I hope you've enjoyed meeting all my disgusting little friends. But it's time to go. I've got far more important things to get on with. Ooh, what's that noise? Oh, no. It's Mo again. Not now, Mo. Leave me alone. Ah! <gasps> Oh, you know just how many different creatures can live in the same house as you. Uh, don't forget to look out for lots of other interesting plants and animals from the oceans, the rainforests, the mangroves, and all around you. Oh, I'm so sleepy.